Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ainzai Lazar here, aka Lazar 2K96, and today this is going to be a, a cheeky idea I came up with last night. Um, I was thinking about it while I was in bed, you know, different teams, and I'll get into it. But first up, the gameplay. This is a little bit of random Tomb Raider multiplayer shiz, so if you like this type of stuff, make sure you watch. If you don't, literally just turn off, um, just stop watching on your iPad or your computer or something, and listen to my sumptuous voice uh, lol I joke but <laughs> moving on the idea I came up with is how insane would it be if different players different leagues sorry from around the world compiled one team and used it against different leagues in the world like for example there's a tournament held every six to eight years or something and the Premier League, which is the league that I am most interested in, make a team. Um, so we would have the best players in the Premier League going up against the best players in the Bundesliga, best players in Liga BBVA. You know, that for me would just be perfect football. Like there's no other, there's no better football than that in my opinion because you are seeing the best players in the world going up against each other and it really can determine which league is the best you know you can turn it into that sort of an, an affair um, and I was thinking to myself if I was to make um, a Premier League team I could have done this for any league you know uh, Bundesliga, Liga BBVA, um, Serie A but if I was to make a Premier League team who would be in my team and I thought I would let you guys know who would be in my starting 11 so I'm gonna play a 3-5-2 formation and <laughs> Let's go with this. So, in goal, Hugo Lloris. Um, quality young keeper, very, very big future, and has been performing well for Spurs. Um, kept quite a few clean sheets for us, and he is an amazing player. He is um, moving forward. Centre back, our um, centre, centre, centrally, most centre centre back. That makes no sense whatsoever, but our most centre centre back is going to be um, Nemanja Vidic. He is, last year he was amazing, like honestly he hasn't been playing much this year due to injury but last year he was like the, one of the best Premier League centre backs just behind the next centre back playing left centre back for us, Vincent Company. He has got such presence in the air, his head just demands that, <laughs> oh I'm joking, love you Vinny, but <laughs> yeah he's amazing, he's not too slow either and he's so good in the air. Our right centre back, none other than Jan Vertonghen. He is he is amazing. You might be thinking, why is Jan Vertonghen? You know, he's not even that good, but he's he is honestly amazing. He's I've seen him play quite a few times for Spurs. He rarely makes mistakes, and when he does, he gets back and sort of um, makes up for it. You know, he's a quality quality player in my opinion, and he deserves to be in this team. So left. Uh, Senate defensive midfield we have got Yaya Torre wow um, Yaya Torre so big so strong such good vision um, such good passing ability and such a good shot what else do you want in a player <laughs> left centre midfield I'm sorry wait right centre midfield we're gonna have Jack Wilshere he is um, he's really progressed as a footballer this year for me I'm not I wasn't too fond of him last year but this year for England and for and for Arsenal, he's been quality, you know, unpicked defences at times and has that quality with Yaya Torre to make things happen in the centre of midfield. Left midfield now, we have got Gareth Bale. Um, okay, he he has been amazing this year and he's been amazing for his most of his tenure at Spurs. You know, he does things that I have never seen a footballer do before. Score some amazing goals and starts to be compared with the likes of Ronaldo, Messi, which I think is a little bit too quick, but he's definitely going to get there if he keeps progressing at this rate. Right to midfield. We have got, this is a little bit debatable, but I've, I'm, I'm going to play Juan Mata because he's left footed. He'll be able to cut inside. Um, he's got a, an amazing cross. He can make things happen with the cent um, centre attack in midfield, which I'll let you know in a minute. And, you know, especially with the strikers I've got in my box, uh, being able to whip balls in and create things is, um, is, uh, 
is invaluable for us and I think um, one Rata can do this perfectly. Yep, next up, centre attack in the field. We have got, in my opinion, David Silva. He he is everything you want in a centre attack in mid. He has a great shot on him, but he always looks to pass first, which is a, a very crucial quality in a centre attack in mid. And he can, as I said before, link up with Juan Mata on the right and with Gareth Bell on the left with the, with their speed especially with Gareth who can cut inside and have a go with his um, right foot which isn't as good as his left but he can cut back outside and fire it across goal for our strikers the first of which is Sergio Aguero last year he was just the man he yeah that goal you know when it went Balotelli Aguero yeah that one <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that moment is just amazing and even Man United fans love watching that moment and just smiling because it is Premier League gold. I don't think that's ever going to happen again, you know, where Man United thought they had it. Alex Ferguson cheering, getting happy but nervous at the same time. Then Aguero pops up with a fake shot on a goal near post, you know, amazing. An amazing sequence of events and deserves him to be in the team just for that to be honest. But he's a pacey, quick uh, selfish striker which is what you need and he can score goals easily next striker our final player is ah uh, this is um, I really want to say Romelu Lukaku but oh, I can't quite say it because I'd be lying to you <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna go with Robin Van Persie who you know does what he wants his right foot is absolutely spectacular his left foot is as spectacular as he is left footed and the things he does on that pitch oh, are amazing he's a little bit cold at the moment um, but you know he does amazing things on the pitch um, for Manchester United and has scored some vital goals for them has carried them at times and of course carried Arsenal last year Lukaku's on the bench don't worry lad don't worry um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Ains Alizar. Let me know if you like this. Let me know who'd be in your team. Um, subscribe if you like this for much more gameplay. See you later. Sweet.